the best branded email newsletter platforms. Let's get to it. What's up everybody, my name is David. I hope you're having a great day. So in this video, I wanna cover your best options for creating some type of branded email newsletter. Now I do wanna differentiate between email marketing and creating a branded email newsletter because they are similar, but they do function a little bit differently on the back end. Email marketing I would describe as using something like ConvertKit or ActiveCampaign, and then designing some type of complicated funnel with automations on the back end. You get people to subscribe to your email list by having some type of offer section on your website or creating a dedicated landing page that you drive traffic to from either like Facebook, YouTube, or paid ads. And you entice the user to subscribe by offering some type of lead magnet, whether or not that's a masterclass, a seven day course, a cheat sheet, and so forth. So the user subscribes to the email list, they get the lead magnet, then they're added to your sales funnel. A branded email newsletter is not exactly that because you're not setting up complicated automations on the back end. Instead, you're sending out a weekly, bi-weekly, or a monthly newsletter covering a topic in a comprehensive manner. So if you look at something like the Milk Road or the Hustle, the actual email newsletter is the product. So if you've been looking to create something similar, you have a wide range of options that you can use. If you're ready to get started, let's jump into my laptop and begin. Number one is beehive.com. So this is one of the most popular newsletter platforms around. And one popular website that got their start on Beehive is the Milk Road, which is a crypto newsletter that was sold for a large seven figure sum. Now, if we scroll down, just a little bit, we can take a look at some of the different features. So you can send out customized newsletters. So within the back end of your account, you can customize how your newsletters look and feel that you send out. They also provide a wide range of tools to help scale your audience, as well as you can know your readers through different analytics. So how many people are opening, what are they clicking on in those emails and so forth. And you also get a wide range of monetization options that you can leverage. Now, if we take a look at monetization options with Beehive, they do provide a wide range of things we can take advantage of. So first off, we have premium subscriptions. This is pretty standard, so you can offer a free newsletter and maybe an upsell or maybe have two options in your newsletter, like a free and a premium subscription option, whatever you can totally do that with Beehive. They do have a built-in ad network that you can leverage so you don't have to reach out to sponsors anymore. So when your Beehive newsletter gets to a certain level, you can start embedding ads. And also we have boosts. So boosts are helpful because people can boost their newsletter within your newsletter and you can also accept boosts within your newsletter if you are more popular. If that makes any sense, so that's just another monetization options as well. Now, how to grow your audience faster. So they do have a referral program so you can have a newsletter. And then you can set up a referral program. So maybe you're within your newsletter, you're offering paid subscriptions and people refer and you get a 50% commission, whatever you can do that. So you can have your readers promote your newsletter and grow your audience that way. They also have a recommendation network that you can tap into and of course boost so you can pay money to boost your newsletter within other more popular newsletters. Uh, and then magic links, so auto subscribe readers with just a single click and no landing page needed. All right, so how much does this all cost? So they have, they do have a free plan that you can take advantage of if you're just getting started. So you can kind of just sign up to Beehive, play around with the back end of the platform and so forth. But when you're really ready to launch a branded newsletter website, then you do need to upgrade to a paid account. So what does it look like on the back end? Here's your back end of a Beehive websites so you have the ability to write grow different monetization options audience analyze learn and so forth now if we click over here to view sites it's pretty basic but you can customize this to some degree so we navigate over here to settings and then we have a bunch of different options where we could have notifications password co company publications design uh, and websites. So let's click over here for websites. And over here, we have the color palette, layouts, themes, typography, buttons, images. Uh, we also have analytics up top here, advanced pages, navbar, comments. So you can customize things on the back end uh, to your liking. So not super feature rich with customizing your theme and the design of your site, but you can get enough out of it to get going. So if I navigate over here, we're currently customizing the newsletter. So this is what people will see when you send a newsletter out and it hits their inbox and you can customize the landing page and the upgrade page. And so that's what you have access to over here. And again, this is what it's going to look like. Uh, I currently have a test account with Beehive. So again, this is just a very basic newsletter page. You can have your branded newsletter and people can subscribe and so forth. 
anyways that's number one beehive.com number two is ghost.org so anyone who's watched his channel for any length of time knows i'm a big proponent of ghost.org because not only are you building out a full website with email marketing they are in my opinion one of the best options if you're looking to create a newsletter style website because it's a full complete website now, if we take a look at the website that I actually built, which is edgeofdavid.com, it looks pretty good as a newsletter website. So you can have a menu bar at the very top here. You can engage in affiliate marketing. You can have private blog posts and public blog posts over here. So if we open up this free blog post that can actually rank organically, you can have affiliate offers in here, as well as you can hide things behind the scenes to get people to subscribe. So for example, I have it set up where if you want to uh, comment on a blog post, you have to subscribe and become a paying member. You can totally do that with Ghost. And so this is a way to get people to move from the free content to the paid content. As an example, uh, if we click on the subscribe button over here, it appears as a light box. You can offer a monthly or yearly subscription or just offer a completely free option to subscribe to your website if you want. You don't even have to have a monetary uh, premium set to the email newsletter. Now, what does it look like on the back end? Here we go. So these are your blog posts. You can set pages and you also have different settings to customize your newsletter. And it's very helpful because if you click over here for new post, it functions similar to WordPress. So you just have a block edit over here, click on this little plus sign, and then you have access to other blocks that you can use. My personal favorite is the one email call to action. So when you send out an email newsletter, you can have this email call to action block to get people to subscribe. So you can offer a discount, something useful like that if you want. Uh, let's click over here again. And then there's one block that allows you to hide content. So if we navigate down here, email only content. So this content will only be visible in the actual email newsletter. So if I'm writing a publicly available blog post that's going to rank organically for uh, some type of keyword, but maybe there's something I wanna say just to my email list, or maybe make this a compelling reason, like this is why you wanna subscribe because you get access to this private content. With Ghost, it's incredibly flexible. Now, if we, let me just put in a title right over here, title, and let's click on publish. So right over here, I can choose what I want to do. Do I wanna publish an email? Or do I want to email only or do I want to publish only? This is why I like Ghost because it's very flexible. So if you just want to have an email newsletter and just email your list, you can do that. If you want to publish, you can just publish to your website because it's a blog post, you can do that. If you want to publish and email, you can do that. So it's very uh, flexible and useful. But that, that's why I would say Ghost is good for a weekly, monthly newsletter type websites because everything's kind of manual. Unfortunately, there's no automations. Uh, you can set up a basic automation when people subscribe and you can send people to a thank you page. But apart from that, you have to manually email your list. So if you genuinely wanna start a newsletter website where you're sending out weekly emails to your audience, Ghost is a great option. Anyways, that's number two, ghost.org. Number three is substack.com. So Substack is another very popular newsletter, platform, website, whatever you wanna call it. Now, what I really like about Substack is this feature right down here. We can have posts, podcasts, video, and commentary within your Substack. Now, what does an actual Substack website look like? This is Graham Stephan's newsletter. Now, it's all a little bit cookie cutter, but again, if you have a personal brand and people know who you are, I don't think that's really much of a deal breaker. And I do like the social proof that it incorporates over here. So we have 40,000 subscribers. Now you can click on either no thanks and then just view the websites. And so view the newsletters as they come out and then interact with the pieces of content uh, as you like, or you can su uh, subscribe to the actual newsletter. So if I click on subscribe, what's your email? Let's type in a test email right here. Click on subscribe. And then we're taken to an upsell or cross sell perhaps page where we can then choose a subscription plan. So we can select none. I'm on the email list for free. And Graham, just email me once a week whenever you write new content. Or I can choose a paid plan. So we have individual or group, or I can send this as a gift to someone as well. And so over here, you can set up the pricing tables for what people get based on what plans they subscribe to. So like a monthly plan, $20 a month, you get all the free content as well as paid subscriber content, as well as exclusive courses and tools, priority engagement, 
and so forth. So this is very helpful because once people enter their email in, then they're upsold over here. And of course, even if people click over here for the free plan, they continue on the website and they continue on your email list for free. When you do send out a free email newsletter using Substack, you can always have an upsell for a paid subscription plan within your emails at the very bottom. Anyways, that's number three, substack.com. Number four is squarespace.com. So Squarespace is a very popular website builder and I have numerous tutorial videos on this channel using Squarespace. Now they do provide their own dedicated email marketing service to go along with their website builder and it's pretty good. So with their website builder, you can create and design a very beautiful looking website. Then you can add on email marketing. Now it's nothing too fancy. So you can set up basic automation. So a user subscribes, then after a couple of days, they receive an email and they can set up. So after a few days after that email, they get another email and so on and so forth and that's pretty much it and then you can send up broadcast emails and that's why it's ideal if you're looking to set up some type of newsletter website because you have access to very basic automations but better yet you can just send out a weekly newsletter as you like and you can select an email template and custom design the look and feel of the user experience which i quite like so in combination with the website builder to create and design your website then the ability to select a beautifully designed template and basic automations. I do find that squarespace.com is a pretty good option if you're looking to create an email newsletter website. Anyways, that's number four, squarespace.com. Number five is kajabi.com. So kajabi is really just a website builder that's a done for you, complete, full suite marketing solution. Now, a lot of people complain that kajabi is quite expensive. Uh, it does start at $149 a month, but you get literally everything that you need to build an online business. So it's ideal if you're looking for something that's comprehensive and complete. That means your website, your email list, your paid products, everything under Kajabi, because that's what this platform is really designed for you to do. Create a full on blog that gets organic search traffic, have email marketing and email newsletter and have paid courses that you can promote to that email newsletter. If that's you, then Kajabi is a good option. So it's a little bit overkill if you're just looking to start an email newsletter website. But if you do just want to have an email newsletter website and maybe have courses, maybe have a blog, build out a full website and have a great user experience, then do take a look at Kajabi. So let's navigate over here to their email uh, function over here. So world-class email marketing software, no monkey business, as they say. And so their email marketing is good. It's nothing too crazy or comprehensive. So so the email features within Kajabi are quite similar to what you'd find with Squarespace in the sense that you get basic automations as well as the ability to customize uh, your templates using an intuitive visual builder, as they say. And what I really like about Kajabi is just everything works together. So you have students that enroll in your courses, your email list, your blog posts. You can send custom emails to different uh, students or your broad email list and send broadcast emails and so forth. So while Kajabi is, in general, in my opinion, probably overkill if you're looking for a straight email newsletter website, it is a quite powerful platform that you should be aware of if you want to build more than just an email newsletter and you actually want to have a full website with a blog, paid courses, an email list, an email newsletter, and so forth. Anyways, that is number five, Kajabi. Number six is medium.com. So this platform does allow you to create your own dedicated publication with its own custom URL if you are a member of Medium. Now, creating a publication and a newsletter is slightly different than their partner program, which is where you have to have 100 followers and apply for membership, and then you get a part of the money that people are paying, like members are paying when they read your members-only stories. That's different. So you can just create a publication just by signing up to Medium and creating a paid account. So we jump in to a test account just to take a look at what it looks like. When you navigate over here to your settings, which you have to click, uh, click on the account icon, you can navigate to your settings right here. This is where you can establish the publication settings. So if I navigate down here, 
we have share your subscribe page for example we'll click on that and a basic page is what it looks like so if you're willing to pay what can you expect this is called a better programming and it is a custom URL, but you still have the medium branding. And this icon does actually link to the medium homepage, unfortunately. So it's not fully your website, but you can brand it to some degree. And if we navigate over here into the sidebar, you can see this sign up for Coffee Bites by Better Programming. Get this newsletter. If you click on that, then this is what the newsletter looks like. So you can have get this newsletter click on this and subscribe. You can also share this URL at the top. So again, it's a medium.com slash better programming slash newsletter slash coffee bite. So it's a little clunky, but you can functionally create a newsletter and a publication on medium. Anyways, that's number six medium.com. Number seven is Miller Lite. So Miller Lite is doing something similar to Squarespace, but instead of marketing themselves as a website builder with email marketing, they're doing the reverse where they Market themselves as like a, an email list provider who also has a website builder, landing page builder built in. And MailerLite's pretty impressive because they continue to expand their offerings. So currently what you can get with MailerLite when you sign up is you get a free custom landing page builder. And so a landing page builder is those types of pages that you see here on like YouTube, for example, like watch my masterclass or something like that. You click a link, you're on a dedicated page where the whole goal is to get you to click a button to subscribe and sign up and move forward in the sales funnel process. And so that's what a landing page is. And you have a custom landing page builder within MailerLite that is pretty good. And of course you have a full on website builder. So you can create a complete website with MailerLite, which is very unique. And that's a, was something that a lot of other uh, email list providers are not providing. So with these two combinations with a website builder, a landing page builder, and of course, because it's MailerLite, the, their primary core focus is their email list service. Those three things combined, I like to build an effective email newsletter, branded email newsletter type website quite effectively and so the website builder is what you'd expect it's just a drag and drop website builder you can have pages blog posts and edit and design your website with a visual editor and of course email marketing like always you got your basic automations and you can send broadcast emails so if you want to send a once a week newsletter you can totally do that and you can also set up automations for when people subscribe then they get a certain sequence of emails you can also adjust like what types of emails those individuals get based on how they interact with emails. If that makes sense. So like when people click a certain link in an email, then they get this sequence of emails and so forth. You can set up a little bit more complicated automations with MailerLite. And finally, how much does this all cost? So MailerLite has a completely free plan up to 1000 subscribers and it allows you to send out 12,000 monthly emails. So the free plan is okay just to get started and play around with MailerLite, but you definitely want to upgrade your plan to a dedicated business plan and their growing business is only nine dollars a month which is not that expensive or 500 subscribers and that unlocks everything from selling digital products unlimited templates dynamic emails auto resend campaigns the website builder landing page all that good stuff is incorporated in this growing business plan anyways that's number seven mailer lights and last on the list is ConvertKit. So ConvertKit is email marketing software aimed at creators. Now it's a great option if you're using something like WordPress and you're looking for a way to send a broadcast email newsletter out to your audience. But ConvertKit is really nice because it does provide automations and tagging. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit more advanced than other options on the list, then consider looking at ConvertKit. Now, who uses this? So if we take a look at James Clear's website, which is powered by WordPress, his email newsletter is powered by ConvertKit. He has 2 million subscribers. And again, it all runs on ConvertKit. Now, if we take a look at Mark Manson, so his website, again, is another WordPress website. His email newsletter is powered by ConvertKit. And last is Justin Welsh. His website and business is built on Kajabi, believe it or not. But he's moved over from Kajabi with the email marketing aspect, which is kind of the core feature of what he does over to ConvertKit simply because they provide better automations and tagging features. So let's jump over to ConvertKit and see what you get. So first off, you can create a dedicated paid newsletter now if you want. So you can offer a completely free email newsletter. You can also offer premium content behind a paywall. 
Now you could also get uh, advanced automations and tagging features with your account. So the email marketing tool designed for creators. So you can send simple and beautiful emails. So the type of emails you can send, you can either overly design them if you like, or keep them very simple, whatever. ConvertKit has a bunch of email templates that you can use. So you can have a nice user experience with your email newsletter, or just keep it simple and send a just a basic text based email totally up to you. But more importantly with ConvertKit, what I really like is the tagging feature. So the automated email funnel. And so it's kind of a drag and drop funnel section that you can kind of set up. So the way people interact with your emails dictates what emails they receive. So if you send some type of specific email and they open it, but they don't click a link, then they get this follow up email. If they click a specific link within that email, then they get this other set of emails. If they don't open the email at all, then they get another sequence. You can do complicated things like that with with ConvertKit, which is why it's so effective. So how much does this all cost? So ConvertKit is a little expensive at the lower ends and does get more cost effective as your subscriber base increases. So they do have a completely free plan, which is ideal if you just want to create an account and kind of play around with the software on the back end. But I definitely recommend upgrading to the creator plan to get started. So it's $9 a month for 300 subscribers. And it really just unlocks everything at this level. So unlimited landing pages. So a landing page is very useful for driving traffic to from different social media sources or paid ads, unlimited forms, unlimited broadcasts, audience tagging and segmentation, which is quite helpful and a little bit more advanced. So maybe you're driving traffic from say Twitter and Instagram and you wanna have two different sequence of emails that those audiences get, whatever. You can also sell digital products and run paid subscriptions and more. Anyways, that's number eight, ConvertKit. All right, everyone, that's it for this video on the best branded email newsletter platforms. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you got value out of it. If you did, consider subscribing and hit that like button. Anyways, my name is David. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.